All right, so it's been about a month since Joe Rogan opened up his new comedy club in Austin, and there's still no sign of Brennan Schaub performing there anytime soon, which I think is pretty ridiculous that it's taking this long. I mean, how could you even call this place a comedy club if Brennan Schaub hasn't performed there yet? You know, me personally, I don't even know what comedy was until I heard Brennan Schaub's Mexican cookie bit. Right, I'll bake some Mexican cookies, and you go over there, I'm like, what? that's a Mexican cookie, what are you talking about? It's like a chocolate chip with sauce all over it? What are you talking about? What are you <laughs> So the fans of comedy, they're all wondering, where is Brennan Schaub? Why hasn't he performed here yet? You know, this is Joe Rogan's guy. Joe got him into comedy. You'd think he'd have him perform within the first couple of months, but instead, Joe has decided to go with Whitney Cummings and Pete Davidson and Burt Kreischer, of course. I mean, look at this Instagram post from Joe's Comedy Club. It says, last night was one for the ages. Burt rocked the house. One for the ages? Some middle-aged dude gets drunk, goes on stage, and takes his shirt off, and it's one for the ages. I mean, what are we doing here? I'm already losing faith in this place. And Joe's, like, teasing Brendan at this point, because he's having pretty much everybody else on except for him. You know, Brian Callen's heading over there this weekend. Eric Griffin's doing a show this month. But Brendan, the poor guy, has still not gotten the call. And you could tell he wants to go there badly. You know, he's always talking about how he misses the whole comedy scene. I, I'm looking. I was talking shows. to Rogan this morning. I go, I cannot listen to another podcast of you and anyone you've had at the club, the mothership, and how fun it is. I know. I go, it makes me want to jump off a bridge. Yeah. It reminds me of the comedy store days, like the yeah. golden yeah. years yeah. of comedy store. I'm like, ah, yeah. feel like you're missing out. They're really doing something over there. You know, I mean, I, I haven't been. The place looks amazing with the drone shots and sick. all this stuff, but and the pictures that they post. Like, um, I try not to see any of it. It makes me sad. Uh, yeah. And then the comedy mothership. I'm going to be at the mothership in Austin. Oh, cool. 28th through the 30th. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What room? Like, they have, like, different rooms, right? I have no idea. They have, like, oh, a cool. main room and a that's small room. That's pretty cool, man. Like the store. No, I know, but I... But they don't they have... So they have two. Two rooms. Okay. Yeah. He's in the main room. Got yeah. it. That's awesome. I'll see Mr. Rogan there. He's going to take me on a little tour of the mothership. Oh. You're not performing, though? Maybe I Maybe will. Maybe you jump on. I don't know. You, but you're not doing stand-up. You're doing a no, TED Talk thing? I'm doing a Minds Fest. So it sounds like Joe might be saving the best for last. No, I think this might be what's going on here. This person on the fight and the kids, sorry about it. They said there are people who buy tickets months in advance, not knowing who they're going to see. They just put their complete faith in Joe that whoever's on that night is going to be hand selected and approved by Joe. What would he say to those unfortunate souls unlucky enough to draw Shab as their act in their once in a lifetime comedic dream vacation to Austin? So there's probably some truth to that. I mean, it definitely seems like Brendan wants to perform there. I don't know, maybe his schedule just hasn't lined up yet, but... I feel like Joe's probably trying to keep him away as long as possible. I mean, everyone else around him has performed there already, or is scheduled to perform there at least. You know, obviously, Chris D'Elia, that's an exception. I don't know if we're going to see him there at all. But if he performs there before Brendan, then that's going to be pretty bad. And I also saw people on the fight and the kids are about it. They pointed out that Brendan's former producer already performed there. And I'm sure he's just an opener or something, but that's got to make Brendan jealous. You know, just the way he's talking about it, you could tell he's really missing out on everything. But I think Brendan just needs to put the pressure on Joe and move to Austin. I mean, if he moves there and he still isn't performing, then Joe's definitely trying to keep him away. There's no question about that. But I'm sure we'll see him perform there soon. You know, I bet after I post this video, we'll probably see it. And this video is going to age terribly. Hopefully, though. You know, I'd love to see Brendan headlining there. You know, I think that's part of the problem, though, is Brendan probably wants to headline. And Joe's like, well, you could stop by and do a set or you can open or something. But being a headliner right now, let's try to push that off a little bit. All right. So that's about it for this video. Make sure you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon. I just posted a couple of videos there about Schultz and his podcast with Whitney Cummings. It was a very awkward podcast. So yeah, thanks for watching and make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.